this is one of these games where maybe we won't even get to see what Fantasy really wanted to do because Classic is already putting a pylon in the middle of the map. Well, he's just going to go for a two-gate play here. So it's a strong opener. Uh, it's definitely had its ups and downs as far as popularity. Yeah. And that uh, pylon is generally for Stargate. That's how Classic likes to do this build. Yeah. Look at that on both sides. Okay, SCV finally going to get back home here. Does not see that gateway. But the Adept can come in here and actually drive the SCV off uh, of the command center. Yeah, this is getting very annoying right now. He does have that one Reaper in the bunker, so that definitely does help a bit. The thing is, one Reaper to bunker, you could kind of just ignore. Yeah. Look at that micro on the SCV. Starts it and then pulls it off over and over again to try to keep it away. Okay, it's going to go down, though. Oh, kills it before it can duck into the bunker. Now, three Marines. Okay, can he oh, actually oh, get oh, 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 oh. Ooh, he misses that shot. That was a nice pull up by Fantasy. That was actually quite important. He's going to try to fish the Marines back towards him. Mm -hmm. There's a second uh, Stargate coming. So this is not, the rush is not merely a depth. There's a second yeah. phase here. Keep in mind, we want to look at the positions here of the anti-air units. Mm -hmm. Because right now, the Adepts are wedged in between these two locations. And it's pretty easy for Classic to continue to filter uh, Adepts over in this spot. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what he's going to do. He's coming down the ramp with four Marines and a Hellion. Yes. Now he's uh, behind the minerals. Again, this CC is not done yet. OK, that's how much yeah. this rush is slowing him down. Oh my god. Oh my god, that is a fleet beacon. Oh my god, you're right. I was I was ready for an so, oracle to fly yeah. in here, but whoa. this is just turning into a tempest rush. Yeah. Wow. Really cool to see. Okay, finally the CC can land in its proper location. Now, according to I believe SOS, you are supposed to just get the uh, upgrade for um, cyclones. And then you get like three of them and they can shut down uh, this build. But yeah, we see a cyclone on the way. He do just doesn't know what's occurring though. Yeah, he might suspect it. It's not the craziest thing in the world to try this here, but you know, uh, we again, almost he... never see this build, but oh my God. Oh, wait, 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 is that, that going to go buy it? It I, might. I think it actually, wait. All right, we're not going to get a shot of it on camera here. And so oh, the Viking was very close to it. I don't know that it saw it though. Yeah, it might not have. Oh, it oh. might fly back over it? Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, it's on patrol at the top. OK, now the Viking's going to go to mm. further to the right. So I don't he think He might do that... some harassment with it or something. Yeah, just try to land it over there. Since yeah. there's so many adepts out here on the front. Yeah, they they two-shot probes, so I mean. Oh, this is smart, too. We had the Reaper come over here. This is actually a really good idea here by, yeah. by Fantasy. He's forcing some orphans at home as well, which oh, can be nice. That's OK, he sees he a fleet beacon. That's okay. big. That's yeah. big. Wow. Okay, so he is—he's getting the upgrade. He's actually he's making let a that tank finish. Yeah, I think that makes sense. He's going to be able to set batteries up outside the uh, the main here. So here comes mm -hmm. the tempest. This is really scary. Uh, you know, he doesn't he, have an he eBay, actually does he? could get in range of the um, tech lab here as well, Artosis. Oh, is he going to just try to hit, hit, hit the front? Okay, this is what I thought he was going to do—is just try to take pot shots from the main. Oh my gosh, this is a tough one. You have to keep your cyclones alive. It's like the most crucial thing here. Yeah. Every. And what he wants with that bunker, by the way, is just to zone these out so they have to attack a bunker, yeah. but he can't even get it up in time. So that's that's rough. He is making some Vikings as well. Okay, two Cyclones now. Oh, he might get this one. Okay, hold on. He needs to turn yeah. away. Oh, some miscontrol here by Classic. Oh, oh, oh. oh my down. God. He gets the kill. Miracle play here. Yeah, really important to get that kill. Yeah. Especially when the Tempest count gets up to three. Mm -hmm. That's when the headache really starts. We don't have another. Oh, hold on. Okay. He's trying to kite this. Kiting with Tempest always looks kind of funny, but it can be done. That's what we're seeing now. The Siege Shank actually being pretty helpful as well. It's kind of zoning everything else out. Yeah. It's keeping the ground army that's meant to protect the Tempest at bay. By the way, there's not a lot of a continuation for this build for Classic. Yeah. It's not like it Homie has Forges going or splash damage on the yeah. way. Yeah. Oh, is he actually going to get this tank? Just barely Just not. Just barely not, yeah. Yeah, th th there's there's not an easy way to transition from this. I mean, Ooh. okay, not bad. 
Batteries absolutely saving the day here. Can he get one more tip of shot? He does not. Oh, he could Coming do it now, get though. It now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wrong oh, biking. Yeah. All right, there we go. Really just wants the lock-ons here, but very good zoning. Oh, he gets another Viking. Uh, this this is too bad. His fantasy's getting a little bit sloppy, it feels like, right? Yeah, well, I just think he's, a little bit. he's having a hard time controlling this. It's very frustrating because the Tempest always gets these shots off. So you're trying to mm -hmm. run back, and then as the Tempest runs forward, you try to run underneath it and do damage. Yeah. Okay, he's got to keep that repaired. All right, moving forward with these Cyclones. Ah, uh, loses a Cyclone. Continuing to make them, though. Ouch. Another big hit there. Oh, God. It's getting you know, worse this is, for fantasy right now. Yeah, it's been back and forth on both sides, but, you know, look at this. He's, you see, again, you can see three is the right number, you know, mm -hmm. when you get those Tempests out. But again, it knocked down to two once more. So important. Every time they kill one of each other's units, whether it's a Cyclone or a Tempest, it is such a crucial moment. Is it four Tempests that one shot a Cyclone? Uh, I, I think so. I think it is. Now, oh, hold on. Maybe it's three. But, by the way, uh, we're running out of room for new batteries here. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's a first world Protoss it's, prom right it's there. The, it's, the, it's the four uh, batteries that are in the front here. To heal up these Tempest, and then they try to come forward a little bit more. I guess actually getting the reactor is not a bad Ooh. move here. It's, it's, it's the closest thing that has any significance. Okay, he is up to four Tempest, and by the way, we just confirmed it is four Tempest yep. hits to one shot, a Cyclone. So yep. this is where it gets really scary, because when you oh. go in, you've got to be ready to lose one. Yeah, and that means that, you know, a back and forth three or four times, and you could technically kill off all the uh, Cyclones. Ooh! Oh! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! He gets it. He gets it. Now, we are eventually going to have a, um, a big attack here at the entrance as well, though. There's a lot of uh, Zealots over here in Stalkers. This is a YOLO build, guys. I mean, you gotta just go for it. You're not gonna go back and take a third oh base, most gosh. likely. He's on auto repair right now. The SUV is actually going a little bit crazy. Well, bad way for that one marine to go. That starport, the amount that that starport's in the way, it's pretty significant. It's so funny when you have, oh my god. He just barely does not have enough shots. Oh, oh my god, he's like shooting every single Viking and not killing it. They're all different fall colors <laughs> yeah okay he's he's so close he's gonna try to come in again 14 oh, shield nice, batteries nice right snipe. now one more gets the cyclone Ooh, yep classic I, I, looks we, like he's we, done we, we may be at the tipping point here yeah okay I believe so. now the tank goes down oh gosh you know, this it's funny, the, the placement of one building like this can actually have such a huge impact on the game, like the fact that the starport's in the way of the ground yeah. army that needs to come in here and help if out. If that starport was not there, if it was just, like, somewhere else, I feel like he could have out micro Classic here, to be honest. I feel like that could have been his advantage. Oh, okay, my God. great force field there. Yeah, and Classic and, just going to end him here. Yeah, this, this is the kill move here. Well, he almost held. I mean, yeah. definitely caught him off guard. It looked... It looked grim for a long time, then he almost did it, but Classic, just too strong. Anything goes wrong for you, and Classic is going to capitalize. So I, I don't believe there's any way for Fantasy to recover here. He's kind of well known for playing uh, games down until almost all of his buildings are gone. But yes, this is I, definitely I don't a see Fantasy recovery. GG time, yeah. isn't it? Well, there's a drop happening over here, but I mean, it's pretty yeah. easy to just warp in and take this fight, you know, or recall or like, you know, or do whatever. Or just let him kill get everything a, get, get over get there and chair and go get a soda at a vending machine and then come back and win yeah. this. I mean, it's... <laughs> All right, GG. You can't have somebody show up and then, uh... oh my God, I'm sorry. I wasn't even looking at the game. We have a cannon rush here. <laughs> sorry, everybody. I was looking at the audience, and then I was talking about the tickets. Oh, the audience is really good looking. Let's go list all my was, favorite was, Saturday was, morning was, cartoons, <laughs> and then, okay, or there's a camera rush happening here. Excuse me, I'm yes. so sorry. Um, so we have this camera rush starting that forced the cancel. This is already a good start here for, for Classic. He wants to get these cannons to hit the economy of Serral and really just end this and game this early, is, and this is the most the aggressive thing you could possibly do. Basically, yes. Yes. Immortal prism shield battery stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a great opening here. And uh, oh, 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 all right, Cyril. All right. Now he's going for a fast Roach War in here, Tasteless. So he can make. I mean, he does need to make some units at home, obviously, if he wants to slow down Classic. But also, he can make Roaches on the other side of the map, where I can guarantee that Classic is not expecting any Zerg units for a while. 
Okay. This is, um, I, I will say this, as, as smart as what Serral's doing, it's not an unexpected move here uh, on this map. We'll see if Classic's truly ready, but this is one of the responses you can have uh, in a situation like this, is to set up a hatchery adjacent to where you can try to have your own counterplay here. Mm -hmm. I mean, I love this from Classic, man. He knows that the late game is Serral's playground. Don't let it happen. Yeah. Make your stand in the early game. Good stuff, Classic. Classic's going to be so salty if this rush doesn't work. <laughs> so come on! His ears are going to turn red. Yeah. He's going to be really mad. Okay, the wow. pylon goes down, but there's a second backup pylon. Yeah, this is more giving uh, Classic high ground vision than anything. See, those cannons can actually hit Zerg units to come a little Ooh bit further down. got that queen! Yeah, nice pick up there with that Immortal. Spine Crawler, a nice hot target as well for this Immortal. Now there's a shield battery juicing it up oh as my well. God, oh my God, oh yep. All right. Again, it's, it's kind of insane what the Immortal can actually do in these moments. Sometimes it really does play up to its name, yeah. especially when there are shield batteries all over it. Oh, these piles gets one of those batteries. Okay, Very nice. Fine. He yeah. didn't want that battery. It was out of energy. He's going to make another one anyways. Prism okay. here now, so the Immortals right. can be juggled around. The Prism can also be juiced up by the shield battery. Serral hasn't actually made the units from that. Oh, there we go. Okay, he's made he's one, one unit. Roach. One roach to rule them all. And it's going to take a while to get through that wall, and he's kind of shown Classic that he has some he, production on that side of the map, that too. too soon? Do you not want to wait a little bit? I, I would have thought oh, he would go with oh, a, oh, like oh, three oh. or four roaches, or maybe turn them in the Ravages, he's, but he's, it really is hard for Serral, because he has to put so much on the front line for defense as well. Oh, he's got to be careful here. This, oh. Oh, this Immortal is actually so low. Yeah, I mean, anytime Serral gets in range of the cannons with these corrosive files and the pylons and stuff, stuff gets pushed back further and further for Classic. He's very, very all in here, but... I mean, Serral is pretty all-in as well. He's only on one base. He said technically has a second hatchery in this game, but that's not for that's not for economy. Uh, Spine Crawler going to get picked off here. Okay. Nice pick off for Classic. That could be the start of it. Again, he's going to be able to unpower this pylon, or he gets rid of the pylon. I'm sorry, everything is still powered. There's one pylon just below the screenshot there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this is just a delicate dance between the Immortals, the War Prism, and these shield batteries. Serral is throwing in some lings as well, which I really like. The Roaches and the Ravages are actually making a lot of progress on this okay. side of the map, Tasteless. Uh-oh. Did Serral actually do it? Did he, did he just well, drag this out long enough? He does have to not let these three Immortals and War Prism kill yeah, him, which is, they this, certainly can. This is the thing is, you know, remember the losing conditions are you lose all your structures, and there's actually a ton of uh, cannons over here. So it might come down to an outpost instead of a base that ends up with... <laughs> Being the last spot oh, these guys. Oh my god, the three immortals. Yeah, the, a lot of Serral's army in the main just died right there, tasteless. He's trying to make some more roaches right now. The main hatchery down to one third hit points. Some 30% HP, it's so low. Oh my god. Do we have any transfuses? Classic no, just using just no the energy. probes he has to try to hold this off. Oh man, oh, the roaches of the rabbit and the cell are going down. The main base is gonna go down. GG, classic. One one. Hell yeah. This oh, series yeah. is going to...